In order to strengthen the economy of Nigeria and to promote Made in Nigeria product, the Nigerian government has partnered with China to improve more on manufacturing in the country. The chairman, House of Committee on Nigeria and China Relations, Honorable Yusuf Yakubu Buba, and members of the committee visit the Ogun Gwandon Free Trade Zone in Igbesa era in order to encourage manufacturing in Nigeria. Speaking at the visit, the Honorable Chairman, House Committee on Nigeria and China Relations, Honorable Yusuf Yakubu Buba, said the relationship will enhance technology in Nigeria. We all know the strategic position of China with international trade today. And it has become very, very important and very necessary for the legislative arm of uh, government uh, to have a special committee that uh, will make sure the relationship between Nigeria and China is uh, stable and uh, is looked into on a daily basis. The managing director of Gungwandon Trade Fair Zone, Wilson Hu, while respondents said the trade fair zone will generate more employment for the youth in Nigeria and their perspective is to build a city of 100 square kilometers like Dubai or Hong Kong. The government has full attention to the free trade zone, especially in regards to the industrialization and the employment and generating more revenue, revenue and the technology transfer for all the youth in Nigeria. Our perspective is that we are going to build a city which is 100 square kilometer, like uh, Dubai or Hong Kong, which is a quite special place in Nigeria. We are going to have manufacturing here. We are going to have housing estate here. We also have our own studio, polo club, golf club, anything that will be very attractive for Nigerians. So this is our prospect. And uh, I believe that with the support of the, the National Assembly, state government, and uh, the Federal Republic of Nigeria, all the government officials, we can make this dream to become true. The Zona Administrator of NEPSA, Mr. Juwon Falokbe, said the Ogunguandon Free Trade Zone is a unique one, well organized and the best in Africa. We have over 40 registered free zones in the country as of today by NEPSA. And I have walked around in many of the free zones within the country. This one is a unique one. I'm not here to deceive your honorable. And I'm not here to say something that is not happening. They are one of the best organized free zones in Nigeria that we can be proud of today. When they came on board in 2008, when we registered them by NEMSA, they gave us a vision of what they are coming to do in Nigeria. And vis-a-vis, -vis, they have been following that vision. We thought went astray from it. Today, we have, I have registered over 43 companies or enterprises here. We have over 23 that are operating in full capacity. What the product they produce here is one of the best, if not of the best, in Africa. The tires you see here, they produce it here. We don't import. Most of the Ruben seed we use here, <coughs> manufacture. About 80% of what we use here, we manufacture them here. Is that a departure? Is that a departure from the original plan of uh, free zones? Uh, I thought that free zones are meant to have some concessions and packages as an incentive for people to. Uh, but I also thinking that um, certain custom <coughs> revenue laws are waived. And if that is so, can you articulate all the departures from the original concepts? Most of them, the companies in the freezer, what they are not bringing 
SKDs are not CKDs. I'm happy when I looked around because when I came in here, I was looking out for a representative of the, of the customs. And I now saw um, assistant controller of customs you know, working. So we want to know when you're asking a lot of these CKDs, also answer a lot of SKDs so that we can, you know, be well guided. So we don't go and make presentations that at the end of the day, yeah, it turn out that will be that um, we are not in tune with what is actually going on in free trade zones. The team later visited some of the places in the Ogunguandan free trade zone, like ceramic factory, windshear factory, and others. They are now calling on well-meaning Nigerians to visit the Ogun Gwandan Free Trade Zone in order to promote and provide more employment for the youth in Nigeria. <laughs> 